Yo, welcome back. Zykor here. And today in Nexoman Extinction, um, I guess I'm starting out uh, in the next portion of the story, I guess. Uh, wrong location. Uh, where is it? Uh, journal. There we go. I'm headed to the capital city of Parum. So I need to register as a guild tamer. So looks like I need to go to the east and get to the city. So, I think it's out here. Let's head out here. And did I battle her already? Yeah, I think I did. So head over this way and head over to this dangerous bridge. I wonder what happened if you fell down there. <laughs> and I couldn't, I don't know where, what she's uh, wants. I don't know where they are. She wants some sort of crocodile. That is just dangerous. <laughs> uh, okay. Looks like I'm over here by Emily. My goodness, there you are, Zykor. Your remarkably impatient fr uh, friends went on ahead. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised they looked impatient. <laughs> the capital is to the north. Our guild is at the heart of the city. Please don't deviate from our destination. Kids really underestimate the predicament of our world. <laughs> okay. Well, looks like I'm going to deviate anyway. <laughs> a banana. I found a banana. Why would you... A, a banana. <laughs> okay. North is capital city of Parham. East is the Outlands. Dangerous. West is Palmaya. Okay. Well, let's see what's here for next time. A bat. Leechy. Okay. Uh, let's see. It is a wind element. I don't know the elemental chart. I should probably look. Um, LS and RS. I wonder what those are. I don't know. Trying different keys here. Um, nope. Not getting them to work. So I'm not sure what those are exactly, but they're not, at least they're not assigned to the keyboard at the moment. So, um, let's see, skills, uh, scratch or frostbite. Well, let's see what frostbite does to a wind element. Okay, frostbite seems to do normal damage. I missed! Huh, nuts. It's frozen, though. Wait, how could I miss if it's frozen? There we go. One more should do it. Haha, <laughs> you missed. No, it took it out. Oh, nuts. No, I wanted to catch that. Why did it have to do eight damage? Shaking, there. I was looking for shaking weeds. Onin, okay. Let's try, well, you know, I assume a water attack against a plant type is probably not that effective, so let's go with the normal attack. Four damage, yay, four damage. Poison, effective, ooh. Five, ooh. Okay. Um, well, let's see what happens if I switch. Um, who's the next best one? Probably my skunk you. Oh, come on, stop poisoning me. Okay, so Rock Knight is stronger. Bite is like a normal attack. Let's try this. Five damage. Okay, that's not bad. Use that again. There we go. Let's try to capture the thing. Um, I don't know what it likes for food, but... Uh, this is better to catch a, a plant. So, uh, I expect I can buy these later on. Maybe? <laughs> I hope. I wonder if I should really use it right now. But, you know, let's just see what it does. B, 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 Y, A, B, X. There we go. 
Aha! I caught it. Didn't look any different, though. Okay. Uh, I'll send it to storage. I'll have to check that out later. I'm not sure how you get to storage. Okay, is there another one of those bats? A beetle. Scaratic. Okay, um... Uh, I should probably take this off my party. <laughs> this is an electric type. It's probably gonna take my, my bird out. Um, let's see. Switch back to my skunk cute. Uh, my skunk cute is probably gonna go down. <laughs> Okay, uh, Rock Knight. Let's see what that does. Effective. Okay, so rock attacks are effective against bugs or electric, whatever these are. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, my skunk is going down. Oh. No, I lost my skunk cute. Um, okay. It's actually... Let's try Rubby. Okay. Bite. Double slash. Wow, double slash seems to be really strong. Um, let's try scratch, because I want something kind of weaker. Three damage. Oh, no, let's see. This seems like a common bug, though. And yeah, it says common, so it's probably not that big of a deal if I feed it, but I'll just capture it. And try a regular Nexo Trap. I've only got five left. X, Y, A, Y, X, B, X. I, I didn't catch it? Oh, nuts. Demotivated. Come on. Come on. Catch it. Get in there. Good. <laughs> Finally. Okay, so there's a little scaratic beetle out in this area. I'll send that to storage. I'll have to... Yeah, hopefully I can access storage. Okay, let's... I wonder what's... Is it inside a house? Hey, shiny. In either. Okay, this is a run-down house. But there's treasure in here. Three Nexo traps. Well, I was just needing some. Okay, anything else? I don't see anything else. No other hidden stuff, unless they start hiding things without having a shiny aura. So that's an abandoned house. What does she have to say? So it leads to the Outlands. Mad Nexomon bandits and tyrants wreak havoc over there. You should stay safe, kid. Go to the parm and you'll be fine. Okay, um, yeah, I'm just gonna take a peek. Oh, Emily literally just told us not to go there. But sure, what could possibly go wrong? Let's do it. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, this looks dangerous. There's a healer. That's trainer there, though. Right in the middle. The Outlands. Okay. Well, I can at least get some healing going here. This is what I needed. Come on, you gonna let me move? Wow, it like a long intro. Scrolling the whole map? Huh. Well, at least it's got icons for who wants to battle. Okay. There we go. Found an orange. Okay, let's head up here. Get some heals going. Yes, I need healing. There we go. 50 coins. More Nexo Trap. Oh, just a Nexo Trap. Okay. A potion. Okay. I probably shouldn't venture anywhere else on here, though. That would be probably dangerous. So let's get off here. Uh, you know, let's. Okay. <laughs> I gotta try it. Um, let's save. Yes. Okay. Let's head into the bushes here. I just want to see. What's out here? Rare. Level 6. Well, they're level 6. It's a fire type. So let's see what Torrent does. 
effective. Okay. Hey, this might not be a bad place to train. Okay, let's try Scratch. Hey, yeah, that's, that's not bad. I'll catch that. There's so many Nexomon in these areas, I use all my Nexo traps uh, <laughs> before I get there. There we go. No! Come on. Catch it. I better get on to the city next year, though. Interesting, though, there's nice uh, fire attributes out here. Come on, catch it, please. No! Let's see. What is it? What would it like for food? Uh, yeah, my... <laughs> Noki's gonna go down. But let's try a lemon pie. Why not? Didn't enjoy it very much. That's... No! Noki! I'll heal you. After I catch this. I should have a 33% chance of, of catching it. Come on. Yes, finally! Rebombo. This one's interesting. I'd like to send him a party, but... Well, let's see what this does. Um, probably Dinja. I hope it doesn't reply... I mean, is it going to send my Dinja to the storage? I hope so. I'll have to check that. No, I don't want to battle that guy. Okay. Heal. There. Okay, what's in here? Okay, so interesting stuff. 20 coins. Glazed cake. Who is she? Watch out, mate. If I see you out there, I'll be sure to challenge you to a battle. Tamers like me are always looking for a good brawl. Camps and cities are sort of a neutral ground, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Apparently, the tyrants are a breed of very intelligent and strong Nexomon. That's why they might be fit to replace the king of monsters. The dumb war among tyrants has re wrecked our world. Have you seen the Outlands? Yeah, they don't look very good. Be careful. Wild Nexomon becomes stronger as you progress on your adventure. Still, I suppose there's a limit to how much they can grow. But don't underestimate them. The Outlands are always dangerous. Okay. What's this person have to say? We managed to install a portable storage console here. Go ahead. Tamers of the guild can use it to deposit and withdraw Nexomon for free. Haha, -ha, good. Okay, let's see what I have in my storage. Um, default, new group. Okay, my Dinja went to storage. Okay, there we go. Um, swap with who? Um, let's see. I'll put my... Well... Actually, I'd like to take my EXP uh, share like thing off. Okay, let's just use what I've got here. Actually, well, wait, no. Um, let's see. Uh, team, no. There we go. I'll take this off of Kelf, uh, Kelfter. Uh, oh, wait, no. There we go. Okay, so I'll put Kelfter in. And what else? Let's just see. So I'll put Kalfter instead of Skaratic. Or I'll, I'll take Skaratic out, I should say. I'll take Dinja out and put it instead of that for the moment to get that EXP share off. Because uh, this way, then I'll have a fire. Oh, I didn't have an EXP share on Dinja. Okay. <laughs> Put that back in. Because, yeah, I'll have an electric and a fire type. I'd like a grass type, too. Hmm. I guess I could put Claudi in. Instead of the onion. Or onion. 
Onan, Onan, hey, yeah, whatever it is. Fanling. But yeah, actually, this is a pretty good team. I'll leave it for that, like this for now. Okay, um, head out. Wait, no, there's just a hidden item up there. I put Pincho, okay. Now let's head out. Okay. Um, head over here. Head up to the city. No, there's a trainer. But, you know, how strong is my team? Noki's fully healed. Oh, I should add these cores. The cores I do have. I've got two cores. I'll add the level three core to Rabombo. And Skaratic. I'll add the level one core. There we go. Well, let's battle her. Hello. Aha. There you are. Where do you think you're going, pal? This is my special spot to catch and train next month. There's no room for both of us, so go find your own. <laughs> well, let's see who whoever wins this battle can say. Oh, not nuts. Level six? That looks like a large uh, one. <laughs> Ooh, seven damage. Well, I did seven damage. Uh, I'm doing a little bit more damage, if I keep doing more damage. And she switched? Nuts! Um, uh, let's see... Well, you know, let's let's test out uh, the Rebombo. Wait, no, that's like a flying type. Let's try the Skoratic. Three damage. Um, double Slash, which is pretty strong. Scratch and Pulse Storm. Let's see what that does. Effective. Okay. Not effective. Okay. So I'll keep using Pulse Storm. I should do pretty good. And then she switched anyway. Um, let's try Double Slash. Not effective. Ooh. Well, at least it took it down. And Pulse Storm again. Haha. <laughs> and that should be it. <laughs> yes! Noki leveled up. Uh, Noki learned a new skill, Scratch. Wait, didn't it have Scratch? Okay, I'll let you use my special spot for a limited time only. Don't tell anyone about it, alright? Okay, yeah, well. Oh well. <laughs> I wasn't here for your spot. Okay. Let's see what Nexomon are here. Okay, Skoratic. Uh, scratch, Scratch. Why does Noki have two Scratches? That doesn't make sense. What? What? I don't, I don't even get it. Not effective. Okay, so uh, Frostbite is not effective against them. So I guess just Scratch which does less damage, I think. <laughs> I'm just battling this for the EXP. Almost down. There we go. Gotta do training. Okay, let's head out up to the city here. Actually, let's talk to these. The impregnable city of Parnum lies ahead. Hundreds of tamers like us keep the place up and running. Okay. Nothing to report. Yet. <laughs> okay. Oh, a rookie, huh? You better hurry up inside. Kid, the tyrants are always lurking. Okay. Are there any hidden items here? Other than that treasure chest that I don't even know how to get to? I'll probably have... There's probably some sort of, like, surf ability or something. Ah, finally here at Parham. So this is Parham. It's so much bigger than I thought. Oh, so many tamers. This place is the real deal. Yeah, it is pretty big. A lot of NPCs. 
Capital city of Parum. Okay. Welcome to Parum, the ultimate, ultimate bastion of the human domain. Amid the chaos, violence, and decay that spreads throughout the world, Parum stands tall and proud against all odds. Once you become guild members, all your efforts and skills will be directed towards preserving this peace. Take a good look around. This is what you will be fighting for, your, for from now on. Okay. And that's the healing center? Ah, okay, yeah. Why is that guy on the left blue? <laughs> Looks like he's got a problem. Tamers like you can use it to restore their party for free. I was already using a healing guy, though. It's also a storage service where you can deposit and withdraw next one. I already used the storage as well. <laughs> what is that? There's a general store over there. Ah, general store. Okay. You can purchase various items to aid you on your quests. Their goods and prices may vary over time, so check it out often. They also sell Nexo Traps to catch wild Nexomon. There are many types of Nexo Trap, but you can learn about that on your own. No, they're not going to tell me about it? That's not fair. To the east is the airship hangar. Many tamers use it to reach the Drake Isles, the alleged birthplace of the dragons. Feel free to check it out sometime. It's quite the view. Wait, does that mean I could catch any dragons there? I'd be interested in dragons. Citizen, the citizens in Parham are especially kind towards guild members. If you have time to spare, pay them a visit. Civilians often have special jobs for tamers like you. Okay, so they'll give me quests and stuff, I expect. To the west is the research district. Our scientists have spent a lifetime trying to unlock the full potential of our Nexomon, so that we may survive. You may be newbies, but it's worth checking out. And that way? Wait, wait, what is that way? Finally. The north, at the heart of the capital, lies the Tamer's Guild. Oh, okay. So I can just go up to the guild that way. There's so much to see. So much to do. We have to check out the Drake Isles. We can capture our very own dragon. I'm tired of hearing about dragons. Did you know we can synthesize cores which enhance our Nexomon in the research district? Yeah, I should go test that out. You are such a nerd. <laughs> okay. <laughs> One step at a time, kids. Come with me to the guild. You will receive your bronze badges, as well as your first tamer job. Okay. Nothing is stopping us from wandering around the city. But I don't think there's much to do without a badge from the tamer to go. We should go north as soon as possible. Okay. Not coming from a talking cat. Need a primer, are you, dear? There's a lot of to see around here. No like an adventurer, so you'll love checking out the guild tower to the north. Okay, so they're probably all going to send me to the guild tower? Wait, I can't get down here. Oh, there's a stair over there, I see. There's always something to do in Parham. Oh, will contribute in some way. Especially tamers like yourself. You gotta fight off the crazy tyrants to protect us. Yeah. Okay. Move along, kid. Loitering is illegal here. Have you seen the people in this place? They're all loitering. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Can't be helped. It's too expensive to draw them all walking around. <laughs> uh, yeah, really. Okay. So what's in this place? Eek. What the heck are you? What are you doing in my house? Get out, get out! <laughs> okay. Ouch! <laughs> oh no. Uh, she didn't have to be that bad. Uh, Zykor, well, why are you entering people's homes? That's messed up. <laughs> We're nobody, Zykor. Of course they won't trust us. Maybe if we had a silver badge or better, the citizens would be more comfortable around us. Ah, I see. I bet I can't go into this home either, so... Yeah, so these... This is probably somebody requesting something, both of these. Um, let's... Let's just go up here, maybe. What's this? Airship hangers to the northeast. Plenty of tamers use it to go to... Okay. Not too keen on foreigners, though. Ah, oh, okay. Let's check out the store quick. I should heal my Nexomon, too. It, so, it's a dog? Welcome, welcome. So good to see new faces in my store. So what do we have here? A rookie tamer and a, a talking cat. Oh, one of those. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'll be outside like apparently he doesn't like talking cats. <laughs> welcome, welcome, Mister. We also stock all sorts of items, potions, antidotes, nectar traps, and more. 
Unfortunately, some of the best goods are available only to high-ranking tamers, but that's not fair. But worry not, there's always something useful for you. Come in and browse our wares. Don't be shy. Yeah, well, if you would accept my cat friend, it would be better. Tutorial. Stores offer more and better items as you progress through the main story. Check out the store often for updates. Okay, so it came back in. Okay. Elemental Nexus traps can be very expensive to buy, so some tamers prefer to craft them instead. I heard that Drake Isles and Palmaya are places with skilled crafters who can help you out. You gotta bring your own elemental shards. Okay, I'll have to check that out. So, what is this? Do you talk to this, or... Or do you talk to... So this is an elemental shard guy? Oh, your new face, Zykor, huh? Well, Zykor, my name is Clay, and I'll be happy to take any elemental shards off your hands. A nice way to make some coin, eh? Grab a pickaxe and get to work. Don't we get coins from beating other tamers and wild next month? That sounds messed up, but yes, you do get some coins from that. Still, talk to me and I'll buy any spare shards you have. Okay, so he'll buy spare shards, but I might want to use them to make, like, nexo traps. Because you're supposed to be able to. What's this guy say? There aren't many stores outside. For the most part, you'll be interacting with traveling merchants. They might offer goods you won't find any here in the city. They can also charge you a premium for it. Ah, yes. One of the best ways to get coins is to fight other tamers. If you win, you get their money. You want us to mug people? <laughs> yeah, really. Well, if you want some honest work, then you can also mine elemental shards and sell them here for other, for other tamers. You need to find a pickaxe for that, though. Yeah, I found one. And supplies are low in these harsh times, so the best items are reserved for higher-ranking tamers. They are the ones fighting real dangers after all, such as tyrants and renegades. Yeah, well, still... Let's see what he gives me for my shards. Can I buy shards? Yeah, can I buy shards? Nope, that'd be too... Okay, so you can't buy shards. That's not fair. Sell shards. You pay me a decent price. Only 25 for these hard-earned shards I have? That's not fair. You're just kind of ripping me off. Okay, let's see what I can get for items from this guy. So low ring tamer, there isn't much I can offer. This item still come in handy, I promise. Okay, so health. Okay, so potions, basically. Any okay, poison. Nexo traps. A hundred. So I mean, I guess I can buy five of them, but man, they're kind of expensive. I'll buy five. Let's see what that gives me. Okay. Yeah, I'll be back, maybe. <laughs> okay, let's heal our Nexomon quick and then head up to the guild. Okay, this is a tutorial as well. Looks like a mech. Hello there, young tamer. Is this your first time here? Yes. Using powerful Himalayan salt lamps, our free healing service can restore your Nexomon in no time. So, they use Himalayan salt lamps, eh? <laughs> Why don't you try healing your orange pet? Orange pet. All <laughs> uh, oh right. Do you see that computer over there? That's the storage console. Use it to deposit and withdraw your Nexomon. Have a nice day. Take care now, Zyklor. Okay, so how do I heal my Nexomon? Here, or do I just talk to her? Yes, need healing. There we go. That's qu pretty quick. A lot quicker than Pokemon. <laughs> And this is the storage console. Okay. Okay, that's good. Anything back here? Nope. Okay, let's head out. Head up to the guild and see what we get. Do I have to battle any of these? I hope I don't. <laughs> that is a tall tower. There's a hidden item over there to the right. Tamer's Guild, okay? So just get over here. Get this item. This is that ghost guy. I'm sure of it. An elixir, okay. OK, 
Okay, I'm finally here. It's pretty crowded in here. Yeah, it looks like it kind of is. I wouldn't stand a chance fighting against the tyrants otherwise. <laughs> I still don't know what a tyrant is. Uh, maybe you should listen. <laughs> maybe you should actually read up on it, dude. Let's go and get our badges. Come on. Why are you even becoming a, a Nexomon tamer if you don't know what a tyrant is? <laughs> oh, it's you. The kids Emily told me about. Welcome to the guild and the regional administrator. Uh, let's see now. Anyone with the Nexomon companion is entitled to become a bronze tamer. Our standards are pretty low, I guess. You know, are you always like this? Take this badge and carry it with pride. Congratulations. Haha, -ha, I got a bronze badge, which they don't seem to like. Like, what are you doing? People are staring. Come back. Come on, please. Okay, I, yeah, I <laughs> didn't need to do that. Okay, don't do that ever again, like, uh, I, I didn't have control over it. <laughs> anyway, as guild tamers, I shall assign a fitting task to each of you. We're not going to work together. Some difficult missions require teamwork, but bronze tamers are given simpler jobs. Work hard and you might acquire the superior silver badge or gold badge. For now, come with me when you're ready for your first assignment. Okay. Tutorial. Characters with a star on their heads have something important to tell you. It's usually a quest, so make sure to chat with those characters. Now go and speak with the administrator. Okay, so... She's got a quest for me. Let's see what I get. Hello, was like one. Are you ready for your first assignment as a bronze tamer? Emily is eager to show you the ropes. Yes. Very well. Please come to the meeting room. Your client is waiting. A client? I have a client? I'm just teleported to the meeting room. Okay, she's got a pickaxe. Hey, who are these losers? What? You, who are you calling a loser? These losers, I mean these tamers, are Zykor and Coco. They will take on your job request. Are you serious? I just saw them getting their badges five minutes ago. Uh, well, does that make me any less of a tamer? Huh, she's got a point there. The entire lake was frozen. There's a bunch of rabid Nexomon. Don't give me someone you ju only just hired. <laughs> this is a menial task. You need to trust Zykor, please. <laughs> okay, fine. I will take your rookie tamer, but don't say I didn't warn you when both of us get stuck under that lake. <laughs> just what kind of a <laughs> quest are they giving me? Hey, newbie, meet me outside the city at once. Chop, chop. <laughs> okay, so... She's the uh, the Nexomite ne miner. Needs my help to explore the depths of a cavern that is frozen overnight. Okay. Ahem. That brat is a Nexomite miner. The lake she normally works at has unexpectedly frozen over and hostile Nexomon have been sighted nearby for one reason or another. You just need to escort her while she does her job. Like, oh, that's all there is to it. Sounds simple enough. I might even find some cool Nexomon around that lake. Hey, never know. Yes, that's the spirit. Not bad for your very first assignment, right? I can take you outside the city right now, or you may explore Parham a bit more if you like. What shall you, we do, Zykor? Um, well, let's just, uh, yeah, leave the city for now. All right, let's be going then. Okay. Where did I need to meet her? Uh, let's see. Meet Videl. Videl, yeah. <laughs> uh, so I need to meet her outside the city walls. So down here? Okay. Ricky, what took you so long? Are you ready? Is your party healed? Do you have any items? I have some. Gosh, I feel like I'm the one escorting you. A bronze tamer. Okay. I'm ready. Oh yeah, we'll see about that. Come on, I'll show you the way to the lake. Because I bet you haven't got the faintest idea how to get there. Well, that's true. She really seems to be insulting me though. So this is in the Outlands. Over here. Come on, look at me. 
Well, if he'd actually show me. You're gonna make me come all the way down there? How dare you? I mean, how are you so slow? How are you so fast? Yeah, actually, I would say that myself. Malik is down this way. Don't go anywhere else, you hear me? Okay, I don't really want to battle the trainers anyway, for the moment. You know, it's not too late to revise our career options. <laughs> yeah, that might be true, but let's just see. Um, head down here. She has a quest, but we'll come back through here and check these out later, maybe. Might as well get these, at least. I mean, I guess it doesn't hurt to just get a quest, so let's just see what she has to say. Excuse me, Mike. There's a bunch of wild Nexomite here. Way more than I expected, and I already ran out of Nexo traps. I ain't going back to the city. No way. I'll pay you really well for a few traps if you got any. Well, I did just buy five. Three Nexo traps and a protection core? For a hundred and a hundred and two, two hundred and fifty coins. Hmm. I just spent three hundred coins on this nexo trap, but the protection core could be worthwhile. Oh well, I'll accept that, I guess. I don't know what the prote protection core does. Thank you for the nexo trap, Sakura. You can never have enough. It's never a bad idea to stock up while you're in a city. Yeah, you just took some of mine. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Inventory. Uh, actually, yeah, actually, let's see. Uh, cores? There, protection core. Boost the death stat by 4%. Okay, let's put that on Noki. There we go. Okay. Can I... No, I can't get over there. Oh, I could maybe, but... Let's just head down here quick. And she's being... Attacked by thugs or what? Don't move. Eh. No questions. Hand over your next mic. I dare you to take another step, losers. Uh -huh. What? You mean something like this? What you gonna do now, little girl? <laughs> yeah, looks like she can handle it all herself. <laughs> I smash rocks for a living. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I'm going to the lake. <laughs> uh, apparently, these guys are thugs. Are you guys okay? Aha, <laughs> uh, uh -huh, gotcha. Now that the biggest threat is gone, you will have to give us all your coin. All according to plan, yes. You guys make me sad. Okay, so I have to battle them. Uh, nuts. Uh, level 8. I'm not high enough level. Oh, no. Um, let's see. Frostbite? Not effective. Oh, nuts. Um, well, uh, let's switch. Let's see. That is an electric type. Uh, not sure what the best one to use would be. Maybe... Onion? I guess I can check it out. Seven damage. Fauna. Plant type damage. Poison cloud. Low, but it has an effect of poison. Well, let's use this. That's effective. Okay. Uh, what? Hey, that's not fair. Okay. Let's change back to Noki. This is going to be a whole... whole battle of switching, I bet. Frostbite. Not effective. Of course it's not back effective. Well, at least they're not switching. How can I miss that? There we go. Took it out. Okay. Um, switch to um, Onin, because it looks like Onin might have the advantage. Fauna. Effective, yeah. Ooh! Um, I have some potions, but I mean... <laughs> nuts. Well! The 
let's use a potion on onion because yeah I'm gonna have to kind of oh come on um, let's see if it it's effective against that too so plants are have an effectiveness against electric just keep using it probably could have tried poisoning it let's try it can I poison it it's probably wasn't a good idea but it's not poison that's fauna haha got it paralyzed no oh nuts um, okay Rebombo. See how much damage this does. Uh, flame. Four damage? Nuts. Seven? No, nuts. Uh, double slash. No! How dare you! Good, finally! Uh, Noki leveled up. Again. Skunkyut leveled up. Well, at least I beat him. But now, my next one are pretty damaged. Whoa, they just teleported away? Yeah, where did they go? Just tell Emily after about this after we're done helping Videl. Yeah. I have to go all the way down there. So the frozen lake must be. Let's go. Okay. Well, let's uh, get over here. Can I get through this way? Uh, that's a trainer. Why does this look like uh, something I can get into, even though I can't get into it? I don't want to try. <laughs> Tempest shard. Yeah, let's just head down here. Ah, this is the frozen lake. I wonder if there's a healer here. Frozen lake. Okay. Through the weeds here. No. Um, let's see. My yeah, my uh, my next amount are pretty pretty damaged. No. I'm gonna have to go back to heal. Oh, that's effective at least. I know another thing that's effective against uh, electric types. Aha. Don't get dad dodged twice. Paralyzed. Why are you paralyzed? Nuts. These sporadic are dangerous. I'm gonna lose the wild next time. On. No. No. Oh, that's it. <laughs> uh, who else? Uh, sporadic. No, nope, I, I didn't intend to use it. Ooh, critical. Um, use that. There we go. Huh. Okay, my skunk is down. And I don't think there's any healer here. Yeah. So I might need to go back to heal before I actually go in here. Because I think it might be dangerous to go in here with damage next time on. So... Let's uh, talk to her here and then I'll probably end this episode off because it's getting a little long now. Look at this mess. There's no reason for this place to be frozen. So, we just have to escort you inside. I don't feel any safer with a bronze tamer, but whatever. Now, do you see that fellow over there? Yeah? Okay. It's a traveling merchant. You'll see them every now and then on your adventures. They're usually more expensive than stores in the city, but at the same time, they can offer wares that aren't available anywhere else. Check them out if you got spare time and coin, I guess. Uh, why do I have to teach you this stuff? Is, is there any healer here, though? I don't think there is. Anyway, come in when you're ready. I need to get to work. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna probably... This is interesting. Nice crystal. Let's head over here and get this item. Anti-burn. Hey, not bad. Can I get... I can't 
No, I can't get over there. It's not fair. No. I wanted to get that rock. Or do I have to go around here? Is this guy gonna battle me? No, he's not. Good. There we go. Blazing shark. Okay. Okay, well, yeah, I sh before going in here, I should probably go heal. Um, so... Let's see. I'm not sure what those do exactly. Oh! Okay, they heal my Nexomon. Huh. Okay, hey, that's that's pretty cool. So these, those little uh, crystals heal your me Nexomon. I didn't know that. Interesting. Okay, found an ocean shark. Okay, well, yeah... I guess that's it for this episode. I'll head in here on the next episode because it looks like it might be kind of lengthy. So, yeah. If you like this episode, hit that like button. I really appreciate it. It really helps us out a lot. If you haven't already, subscribe. Hit that bell icon. Leave a comment. And, of course, share it. And, yeah. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.